All right, guys, so welcome to the P Alpha Music Podcast. This is your host, Pablo Yervis Vargas. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You listen to the podcast, any of the video platforms such as Rumble and BitChute and YouTube. If you listen to the podcast in Anchor.fm, which is my host uh, for my podcast, make sure that you um, just keep a simple play and just share with your friends. I'm going to really appreciate it. Today's podcast is the 100, uh, 143, episode 143, and the title of the podcast today is Leave It, Leave It If You Cannot Control It, okay? Leave It If You Cannot Control It. Um, Let me tell a story about what happened today. So, so this morning, my woman, she had to meet with a customer. And this is a custom that she been trying to find or trying to sit down for a long time. I would say like a couple of weeks now. And there was always a situation where, you know, she cannot meet. She cannot, you know, one of her family members ha- have an emergency. She had to go somewhere. Yeah. Then all of a sudden today, she find uh, yeah, in a couple of days, she decided to, you know, it'll be okay to sit down have the meeting and I told Ksenia hey baby make sure that you know you get to the point and close the deal before you start just talking with this person for four or five hours right she sat down with the person she called the person the meeting soon I think the call and all of a sudden she had to do something yeah. and they couldn't meet she had to just go to like a funeral or something oh, understandable I sit down with my my woman. I told her, you know what? Don't worry about it. Just leave it to God. We can't control it. This is something that you she wants. It's okay. This is something she doesn't want. It's fine, but I I think best right now. Just leave it to God. And forget about it. We can't control it. She sat down. It's a time passed today. She sat down. And close the deal. Close the deal very well. But for the fact that the mindset behind it was of not caring for something that you can control. And I think that gave her a leverage from where she finally can, you know, relax and make the sale. So why this story is important? Because it shows you that for the things that we cannot control, we should not invest in emotions. Since are out of the control, okay? And we can grab things. There's no reason for us to just worry about. Even though anything can be an extension of how we react or how we move things around, right? If I'm ra- grabbing this, I can control this. I can grab this and control it, right? I can control the microphone, right? I can move my interface, move the mouse. I can do those things. I can control that. I can control if I want to stand. Now, that control can go as far as doing all the activities. But when it comes to another human being, and we want that human being to act a certain way, it's hard for us to control what they what we want them to do um and don't get me wrong is i would love to just you know make people do certain things but it's not the reality so having that mindset behind our daily life right we understand why it's important for us to distinction things that are in our, let's call it, reach. And things are way over our reach. And we cannot do anything. You know, calling someone, making calls, showing importance and love to, you know, those loved ones, being there for people. Make sure you you do your diligence. 
going to the gym, eating healthy, all those things we can control them. Now, what we can control is outside events, politics, um, um, I don't know, your your parents or your family from out of state, something. Those things you should not focus much for the simpler reason is it will drain, it will drain you. And if it's going to drain you, why you should invest emotion in it? If my woman invests in emotions, thinking like, oh, I want her to do this. I want my client to do this. And she will do this. You can think, oh, Paolo, but that's thinking in, in existence. Be careful. It is thinking or manifesting a future event. But... What if that future event doesn't happen? What's the answer? If it doesn't happen the way you want, it will be good. Oh, if it doesn't happen to the way you want, it's not going to be good, right? Exactly. That's why it's important for you to have a plan A, B, and C. For the fact that when these things happen and you're out of control, it's good for us to understand that that we can only, 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 right, assure what can we do in our reach. And let me mention something very quick. There's small details in my life where I know I can improve. And I can, you know, make sure those things are done. And I notice every time I don't, do, I don't, don't do those things, I lose momentum. And as I lose momentum, I get mediocre results. And I cannot blame myself. I cannot blame anybody else. Only myself, just mediocre results. Now, I'm not saying that because those mediocre results are unfair, I should just cry in the corner. No, no, no. I'm saying that the pattern is every time when I don't do certain activities or certain things, right? I have my results and my results could be mediocre. There's no one that I cannot just blame but myself. Now, different from all the things where I cannot control whether that result was good or not should not interfere with my emotional state. For the reason being that that emotional state, unless I created created an attachment for things that it could give me a reason to live or whatever, right? Now, if that event go the way I don't want it, I'll be affected by it. Make sense? Now, why, why, why it's important to understand this, right? I think we tend to get caught up on activities or things that really don't matter, really don't make any difference, really doesn't contribute anything to a life. It can only contribute dissent, resentment, bad emotions, bad ideas, and overall frustration. Now, you're getting all those stuff and things or results from outside events. Why the matter? Why worrying about an NBA or basketball baseball player, whether he makes points or runs about celebrities or opinions of celebrities, opinion of people that you don't even know? Why? It's an opinion that you cannot control. Why worry about it too much? Is that person going to give you anything? Or is that person going to teach you anything with that opinion? I think it just says too much of ourselves. My humble opinion. And 
with this comes a responsibility of always telling us ourselves the truth. That I, I would say that's the only responsibility that we have. Telling ourselves the truth. And we cannot tell ourselves the truth. It, it is a bad spot to be. Which is not recommended. Leave it if you cannot control it. And it's not for you to decide whether those things are out of your control to manifest one or, or the other way. With this, guys, this was episode 143 from the PGF Music Podcast. Make sure that if you're listening to the podcast and Anko that um listen podcast of course in Anko that FM. Remember you can uh, you can listen to the podcast in iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora, all those music song platforms, right? And a simple play will really help the podcast. Now if you're listening to the podcast and video platforms such as um I think it's YouTube. Bitchute, Rumble. There's a couple more that I'm hosting, but I don't know where they are. The library is the other one. And you simply just give it a simple, simple subscribe, simple like. I'm gonna really appreciate it. And for me, um, it's kind of late right now, 2:36 in the morning. I'm gonna just head up. I'm gonna do some editing, and then go to bed. But hey, it's always a great pleasure to sit down and give. You my opinion on these topics. With this, guys, this was the 143 episode from the PR Fun Music Podcast. Leave it if you cannot control it. This was your host, Paulo Yuris Vargas. With this, I'm out. Have a good night.